Well, good morning, food foresters. Amy here. And as you can tell, it is raining. I'm in between storms. But we live in Florida. It is the 4th of July weekend. It is Saturday. And Tropical Storm Elsa. Yes, that's right, Elsa. Let it go. Which I wish I could, but I can't. Um, it's heading our way. So, we now have to prep our homestead for wind and rain and flooding. Um, as a lot of you know, I am not that great with storms. Um, I am a Katrina survivor and <sighs> ever since Katrina, storms now make me very, very anxious and very nervous and my anxiety just goes through the roof. I'm staying calm. Um, we have a lot to do. We got to get the goats uh, feeders mounted in the barn for the weekend. Um, the grow out pen, we got to straighten up a little bit. My chickens, everybody's going to, mosquitoes, sheesh. Um, breast chickens are going to be okay. Mr. Turkey. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Are you still alive? How? Y'all, hold on. Y'all, it's already started. So, looks like a tree limb fell. The rooster is still alive. Mr. Turkey is... <sighs> okay. I need to find a way to detangle him. Hold on. Alright, Donald's trying to get the limb. I got the rooster out. He's okay. He's really shaken up. There's no blood or anything. You know what? I think that thing did snap. Yeah. So I'm doing this one-handed, guys. Yeah. Are we going to have to make the hole again? How are we going to do... What are we going to do with this? All right. Um, we'll get back with you. We're going to figure out what to do here, guys. Put him in that cage. Yeah, I'm going to have to. We're going to put him in uh, one of these cages here. All right, so we're fixing the holes. And we got it back in. It, it just enough to hold it. We just got to make it last through the storm. And then we can fix it proper later. We'll have to buy new nails. Yeah. I have to get some heavier duty stuff. Mm. It's either that or we need to start building A frames. Yeah. Because we got plenty of land we could easily take and, you know, move them around. Right now the rooster's in that rabbit hutch there drying off. I got some hay in there. He is soaking wet. I have no idea how long. He was upside down like that. Poor guy. I know. <coughs> All right, so we're just going to take you along and show you what we do throughout the day today in between the storms. But um, it is Florida. We do have a deal with this stuff on a regular basis, huh, honey? Yep. We did have to feed those purple feeders in the barn so that way they would not get wet. But Clyde, what are you doing, Clyde boy? You stinky. Yeah, you're a stinky boy still. Bonnie girl, Bonnie hates the rain. Oh, she hates it. So, they are going to... So, there's... The only thing that we'll have to do is 
put their feed buckets in. Right now, I'm not going to worry about it because they did eat everything but the alfalfa. So, yay them. Um, the chickens, I'm not going to let them out. But we put fresh hay in everything. Filled up their waterer. They're good. They're veterans of this. Um, some of them ha were around when we had Irma. And they survived that. Here's our breast chickens. Their hay is good. We put some more hay on the ground. So when it's not raining like this, they can... Um, won't get mucky feet. Mr. Turkey, we straightened up his pole. His pole was crooked too. Uh, fresh water. He's got fresh hay in there, but he's an outdoor guy. And then there is the, you, you are paying the butt rooster, aren't you? Um, he wasn't caught up that bad. It, it was mainly, there was a hole right here from where the branch fell which the branch is right there. Donald was able to push out the back. We patched up the holes, but apparently he had flown out of here onto Mr. Turkey's and then got tangled up in there. He's perfectly fine, no wounds. He's doing fine. He was just um, a little disoriented from being upside down. I don't know how long he was upside down for, but he was upside down. Yeah, I know. And he's actually a really good rooster. He. I held him and he just cuddled up to me. So he's a pretty good rooster. He just likes to fight all the males. So I got to keep them separated. Huh, Mr. Turkey. I know. You'll get Mrs. Turkey back in a little bit, okay? All right. So um, the only other thing we did was we straightened up our yard. Um, everything here is placed to where it won't blow away. The blue, this blue tote... And that blue one is protecting the um, the electrical cord, um, so that way we can have the red light on. But at this point, we're ready to be hunkered down. Now let me go get a basket. Um, the only thing we got left to do is harvest, which I'm going to go inside. Yeah, Clyde. Um, I'm going to take a break. Yeah. And then uh, come back out. So I came out here to feed. And I got snow white egrets in the back. Because everything's flooded. They even got a baby one over here. Their little family. Are you guys ready for food? Okay, guys. Um, I got the pool. I'm in the duck pen now. It, it rained for like two hours. It was just a hard rain. Um, you know, it's getting flooded. So, uh, but we went ahead and we took one of the shade cloths and wrapped it around the backside of the uh, hog pen here. Um, so that way the turkeys and my chickens... Um, that are in this pen will have some protection if they ride it out in a storm because the Gulf of Mexico is all over here for us. So those feeder bands are going to be coming around and whipping, whipping like this um, if we get them. Um, let me show you. Oh, sure, we're stump. But as you can tell, things are starting to get flooded. Everybody's uh, out. All we're doing is we're making sure the f waterers are filled. Um, everybody will, ha will still have to feed them because we took the feeders out. There's my turkeys over there. Some of the chickens. They're exploring. I have to look for eggs. Which, there's one there. Um, none in that hole. That's a... Oh, oh baby boy. We got baby boy back in here. Some ducks. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you what we did, uh, with the other animals before the rainstorm, um, and came out and I'm hoping there's a lot of dead branches in this tree. So I'm kind of worried. Well, I'm not going to worry about trying to take down my flags. Um, I figure 
I don't really have a place to put them and we still have to harvest so the flags are the least of my concerns so I found another icky but um, we got this all cleaned out that water is filled and then we are good to go we just come out and feed them so I'm gonna go ahead and get over to the other side and show you what we did over there there they are um, the two big ducks here are some that hatched and um, we will be uh, calling those later but there's the call ducks they are so funny the white one <laughs> and over here we got little feeding areas um we had to dump out the one feed bowl or the, the uh, feed container because it was uh filling up with water from all the torrential rain so we had to uh do that but yeah this is like a little dog house um that way they have shelter there then they have this dog house for shelter there and then we threw feed in there that's why there's all the animals but or the flies but then they have the nice warm area we got everything lined with bricks to give them protection from any rain but everybody's doing great in here a little wet a little weary but everybody's doing good all right it is sunday morning we were rained out like you would not believe but we're starting to our flooding's getting bad and holy cow the those are the frogs they were so loud last night but we still got a, a day or two before the storm hits but we're pretty much prepared we're just going to be feeding watering in between rainstorms Actually, the sun came out. <clears throat> nice. I know. It's been raining and cloudy for days. And Tropical Storm Elsa is not going to help the situation. So we're out here going to harvest. we still got a ways to go to get plump. All right. Oh, look. We got another one coming right here. There's a flag leaf and a bloom coming out. Which one? Right yeah, here, this sure is. this one right here, that center one. See, this is the flag leaf, and then you can see the tip of the bloom right there. All this rain, these bananas are going crazy. These here are getting nice and plump. Yeah. These will be ready to harvest soon. Oh yeah, they will be. Another couple weeks probably. Look at the sun in my face. Oh, I really got to separate these props. Yep. The other, right here. another one came up. Wow. That's awesome. Good. At least now they're blooming. Not in the middle of winter. <laughs> oh, we'll still get them. In the I know we will, but. And look, I can always tell. See how fat that's getting? The, the base. That's going to prove be producing a um that's a bloom coming up here soon yeah. just see how fat it is compared to the other ones yeah. and then we got surprise blooms over there we have another banana rat going <clears throat> i don't know these are doing pretty good though Oh, you, did you step on one? Look at the babies. No, I stepped over them. Yeah, we're starting to uh, get everything lined up. There's Swing Set Garden. 
I'm gonna have to do a full tour <laughs> after the storm. I gotta go through and harvest. We got Everglades coming up here. Everglades tomatoes everywhere. <laughs> now those, we need to take this and lean them up against the fence so that yeah. way they can um, cling onto the fence since they're climbers. There's your rice patty. <laughs> it's flooded. And then we spotted a bloom. There it is. That came us. Boy, that's that's opening up fairly quickly. That looks There's like another, another one. one. Yeah, I see it. Hold on, let me put my basket down. I see it from the other side. The far one over there. There's a bloom. And then we got that one there. Maybe we should check the other bananas. What do you think? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have you do that because I'm gonna start harvesting and these guys are gonna be noisy. Go check the banana circle, the bananas down there, and then the bananas along the side of the shed. And then come back and we'll uh, harvest what we can in here. Um, what we're gonna do is before the next rainstorm because we got rain alerts coming. Buzz button. We're going to harvest some of that, dry it, some sage and basil, we're going to harvest. This is, that is a, that's from our sycamore tree. We got to cut this down. Um, that's the seeds for a sycamore. So, clean that over there. This is oregano, but it's not doing very good. The rosemary's finally coming up. As you can tell, we got to harvest and pick as fast as we can today we have tomatoes over here we got mysterious tomatoes are producing um not sure what they are oh we got beans look at that these are soybeans holy cow they are producing oh donald's going to be so happy peppers are coming up here's my butterfly pea um, I'm going to be harvesting as many of the uh, flowers as I can. I've, I was able to harvest some tomato, or not tomatoes. These are the chocolate baby bell peppers. I got some of those. This is the blueberry tomato. Look at all of these beans. I mean peas. Soybean. No, soybeans. Yeah, that's it. So, what's the report on the other tomatoes? I mean, uh, not tomatoes, bananas. We have nothing on those there. Okay. Remember I dug up the banana circle. Those are all sitting there. None of those are going to produce right Do now. Do we need to plant them? Yeah, well, I'm going to plant. They're, they're still fine right now. Yeah, but we need it. We should get them in the ground with all this rain coming. Yeah. We should. Um, Do you just want to help me with getting the tomatoes and you need to take a look at the soybeans? Yeah. All right, so we'll do that because these guys, if we stand around here, they're just going to be noisy. Looks like a, uh, a mosquito on steroids. Let us know in the comments if you know what this is. Okay, um, got another storm coming. The wind's picking up and you can hear thunder, but clip some basil. These are the green beans, sage, a little bit of rosemary, my blue butterfly pea, buzz buttons, and a whole mess of tomatoes down in here. So we're gonna go ahead and get inside. I'm actually gonna wing around the uh, front garden here, check on the eggplants. Um, so that way we can, ooh, I just want to make sure nothing's blooming. All right, it is now Monday morning, two days before the storm hits. Um, it's been pushed back. It was a technically supposed to get here by Monday night, Tuesday morning. Now they have it here Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. Still a tropical storm. 
Um, right now, we harvested all the tomatoes we could, um, green beans, flowers. Um, last night, we stayed up a little late to harvest everything and process it in a dehydrator. Donald made a bunch of different types of breads. Um, we got those in the freezer, but right now we're just prepping for wind and rain. Um, they do say by Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, through Wednesday during the day, we're supposed to get almost three and a half to four inches of rain. Well, property's already flooded. Um, I hate storms. I really do. They drive me absolutely up the wall. My anxiety goes through the roof. But all in all, as you can tell, everybody's doing fine. I'm over here getting ready to feed everybody. Are you hungry, Bonnie and Clyde? <laughs> all right, so we'll keep you posted as the next couple of days go by. Um, but just uh, hope everybody else that's in the path stay safe. Just listen to all the frogs. Especially at night, they're extra loud. We had five duck eggs hatch right before the storm. Hi guys! <laughs> and they've been getting on top of this. <laughs> grief you guys made a mess in just a few hours I did have this whole thing clean look at that they're just ducks this is the only part I hate about ducks ducks are so messy Ooh, it's not thunder Dang. shaking the house all right guys it is Tuesday Tropical storm Elsa is supposed to be here. Um, we are back into the, they've been the cone of uncertainty. We keep getting not in and out of the cone. So warnings go up for tropical storm warnings and then they say tropical storm watch. We are now officially in the cone of uncertainty. <laughs> Just storms. Um, I'm out here early because um, feeding everybody, getting just double checking everybody, making sure everybody's got the food and water just in case I can't make it out this evening because of the feeder bands. Um, for us, it's mainly supposed to be in our area by 3 a.m. Uh, Wednesday morning. So obviously I won't be able to document anything, but uh, we are prepped as for just bad storm um we uh we're expecting three to six inches of rain in just a few hours um obviously that means the property's gonna flood that's taken care of um other than the wind the heavy rains um the only other thing we got to worry about is the possibility of a tornado other than that, we're just going to take it in stride. Um, I have flashlights ready just in case the power goes out. It's just right now me, Donald, and my youngest daughter, Laura. Brayden is with his mother. Um, she's in a brick building, so she's in a safer place where we're in a mobile home. Um, everything's been taken care of. I cleaned, did laundry. Um, I have, my daughter has a doctor's appointment this morning. We're going to go up to Inverness to get that taken care of and then when we come back I'm just going to go ahead and do the basic things like clean the litter boxes so if the power goes out the house doesn't smell even though we do have candles um, just fill up everybody's food and water on the inside take care of the eggs that haven't hatched just kind of get things ready you know just just prep a little bit but other than that everybody else 
is hunkered down. I know come Wednesday morning, <laughs> if it's not too bad, my chickens are going to love coming out because they have not been out since Saturday because of the storms. And you can hear Donald's ducks in the background. <laughs> All right, let me get them taken care of. Hey, guys. All right, it's still Tuesday. It's about 3.15 p.m. Storms are rolling in. We're hearing thunder off in the distance. But we just got an alert. Um, it is now a Category 1 hurricane. Our plans have not changed. We're still just going to get everything taken care of. We're probably going to wait until this um, little storm passes. And then we are going to go outside, take care of the animals for the night. And then just kind of hunker down. We got flashlights ready. Everything is taken care of, so we're just uh, going to ride it out. Alright guys, storm is gone, it's through our area at least, it looks like no damage, um, we got done cleaning up a bunch of down tree limbs which we knew was going to happen, so I'm going to walk around real quick, show you guys everything, um, we do have flooding. But for the most part, it looks like everything's survived. That was a tree we cut down a while back. We just never moved the branches. Ooh. Boy, the, oh my goodness. Everything is so freaking tall. Hold on, let me lock this gate. Donald got done um, taking care of the trees and stuff. It looks like the greenhouse didn't get any damage. I was expecting maybe the wind to get to it, but it looks like it's pretty good. So everything here, it's, it's like we had, we had like five days of solid rain before, um, tropical storm Elsa hit and we are just back to everything being overgrown again. Welcome to Florida. All right. In the backyard. I'm checking out banana racks look good. We have several new banana racks too. With all this rain, a lot more has, a lot more blooms have popped up on us. So I'm just going around to see oh looks like a lot of the tomato plants got blown over so I'll have to fix that here in a little bit I gotta get everybody fed sweet set garden looks okay yeah it just looks like a lot of the tomatoes tomato plants have blown over that all looks good We lost a lot of limbs out of the sycamore, you could tell. Um, Donald cleaned up the bigger branches, but we still got some around. And then these guys produced bananas. We got a rack there and another rack. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, oh, look how bad it's flooded. A lot of dead limbs in there. Hold on guys, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, let me get out of here. <laughs> Looks like. Oh. A lot of flooding in the other room. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, Donald said that we had a couple small treatments, but we still have a lot. I was expecting some of these here to be broken off because they're dead 
but they didn't break. <laughs> Looks like everybody's just wet and hungry, huh guys? Looks like anything out here other than the flooding. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed these guys and let's collect the eggs. All right, so looks like on the, um, on the other side of the uh, pen here, I um, leave a trail of food. I'm gonna check this out. Cause that looks like one of their nesting sites. So I gotta stay where the grass is. And I got Donald's boots on. And it's funny because my boots ended up getting a hole in them, so I gotta get new new boots this weekend. I just gotta make sure there's no eggs over here. Nope. Um, I already see fish in this water. <laughs> um, and so I'm wearing Donald's now. I wear a size eight, eight and a half. Donald wears a size 13, 14. Oh, there goes a toad. At least the toads are quiet. It is so humid and the wind is still blowing pretty good. So looks like these guys are good. Um, I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. I am going to sprinkle the rest of this food. Got ourselves. That's what I do. I just make little piles for them since we had the rat issue. And we actually found a snake in the RV. A big one, too. Hi, Mrs. Turkey. Hi, baby boy. Hi, Mr. Turkey. Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong guys. Thomas and Blondie. I'm sorry. All right. I and mean, then we got this new black female from a family friend. She's doing great. And this is her buddy. He has actually a clubbed foot where it's turned inward. So we're debating on debating on keeping the female. Oh, there's some eggies. All right, let me get this taken care of. Here's a good example of what I mean by the banana blooms are just coming out. Here's another one. I just happened to be looking at the other side of the trees here. Found one. All right, let's walk over to the other side. Let's check their pens. Make sure everybody's okay. So far, other than the flooding. And the, wow, that one, that is a mulberry tree. That's really taken off. All of a sudden, everything's got new growth. Looks like Donald's project's okay. These guys looking good. And we're coming to the back side of the house here. Looks like the barn's okay. Looks like everybody's okay. Here's the other side. Ditches are full of water. That's typical. This is really soggy. So it, we were expecting three to eight inches. I think we got more like three and a half. All oh, this looks good. Um, We did get a few tree limbs come down over here. Let me check out. Well, hi guys! Everybody made it out okay! There's Mr. Turkey. That's Mr. Turkey. I'm gonna set my basket down. I think it looks okay. Hi guys, I'm going to let you out in just a minute, okay? You guys are going to have full range today now that all the storms passed. That looks okay. Goats look okay. Let's check the grow. Oh, you guys have pooped everywhere. Let's check the grow out area. Hi. Yeah, no damage. These guys are looking good. 
Hi, babies. Yeah. I think we did good. There's a bunch of little branches on the netting. I'll have to probably clean that here soon. All the trees look fine. Everything looks good. Are you okay, Bonnie girl? Bonnie hates the rain. Hi, Clyde. Did you protect Bonnie? Where did you do your do your good duty? Yeah. Hi, okay. Clyde. I'm not petting you. You stinky. You a stinky boy right now. <laughs> a bunny girl. I cried. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, that's the short version of what's going on here at the farm. Homestead. The craziness. I was really expecting a lot more of the uh, dead branches to come off. Especially that one there. And then this one right here. Oh, let me see if I can see if there are snakes. We found a really huge snake. And because of the rat issue, we're keeping him around. Mm, so there go. All right, hold on. Make sure there's no spiders. I hate the spiders. Spiders and me do not mix well. So let's see if Donald said he saw them in the back corner the other day. Uh, we put all the things that could blow away in here. I don't see them. Oh well. If we do see him, we'll show him to you guys. He's a he's a pretty big one. We found him in the chicken coop, which I'm perfectly fine losing a few eggs because the rats are more of an issue. Ugh, that got soaking wet. Even though it has overhang protection, it got soaking wet. Let's see if I get to this part. Mm, yeah, I got some a little bit of rain in here. Not bad. It needs a good cleaning, obviously, because they spent most of a whole day and a half in here, so. Okay, well, time to feed everybody, so we will see you guys on the next one.